most of the participants don't even know how to counter the intrusion of a violent person with, you know, a shoulder weapon or a handgun in a classroom. In the wake of school shootings across the country, local school officials get a lesson on how to handle an active shooter in their school. Good evening. Thank you for making us Grand Junction's news leader. I'm Gene Reynolds. And I'm Glenn Mills. It's a nightmare situation which has become a reality all too often. And today, local school officials got special training on how to respond if an active shooter enters a school. KKCO 11 News reporter Christy Diamond joining us live in the studio with the story. Christy. The course is about teaching practical, life-saving information to educators to better prepare them if an active shooter has stepped foot in their school. This course, called Active Countermeasures Training, goes one step beyond training for lockdown situations and teaches what to do when in a lockdown and confronted with a gunman. What would you do if a gunman entered the building you're in? You never know. No one knows where and when the next attack will occur. That's why faculty and staff from District 51 and Colorado Mesa University are training for what has unfortunately become a grim reality for many schools. School officials wouldn't allow our cameras in today's training, citing security reasons, but what you're seeing are videos from other trainings the instructor has done, which he's posted online for anyone to view. The knee, yeah. Oh, yeah. Much better. Nice job. Nice job. He teaches three fundamentals. First, how to identify signs of aggression in a student who displays warning signs of a perpetrator. Half the battle is making sure that we are reaching out and finding those students who are going through a tough spot in life. Second, how to improve overall security on campus. And third, One, two. how to respond if an intruder gets into the building. We teach uh, countering the attack f from ambush or surprise by both side, from both sides of the door, working together as a team to take the shooter down to the floor and disarm the shooter when he's on the floor. 25 people from CMU and 25 people from District 51 attended today's class, and it wasn't just for teachers. We have some custodians, we have some principals, we have uh, central administrators, so this is a cross-section and, and to include teachers. The key to surviving an intruder attack, preparation and teamwork. Right there, good. You, your chances of survival are actually good if you're working together as a team and you're committed to survival to fight and stop an active shooter. Alon's TV travels around the country sharing his training methods with all sorts of people, not just those in education. Anyone can actually sign up to take one of his classes online to be prepared for an active shooter, no matter where you might encounter one. Glad to know more about those courses. You can head to our web channel where I've posted all the information, kkco11news.com. All right, thanks a lot, Christy. Tim Leon with District 51 says they'll be meeting after today's course to discuss a plan to share the training with other faculty and staff. Tougher gun control moved closer to law today on Capitol Hill. The U.S. Senate voted 